It was great to meet Kanoi teachers here in New Zealand, especially the ones who just recently arrived this year. We have Nika, Ina, and Ed from Luzon. And Jem too. Rodan from Visayas and Shad from Mindanao. I was even surprised to have known how young they are, mostly still in their 20s and early 30s. Some are still single, so courageous to explore New Zealand directly from the Philippines after getting certificated as teachers here. The steps are easy. Number one, you submit your papers or documents for NZQA IQA assessment. Number two, take English language tests. Number three, register with the Education Council. They applied online to many New Zealand schools and finally got a job offer. They processed their own work visa and now they're here celebrating their first Christmas in New Zealand. No need for an agency. If you do it yourself, you actually learn more. In Nika's case, she still has her family back home because she has to get some ideas first as to what New Zealand living is like before bringing them over to be together. But soon, in March next year, they'll be here too. Hope we can meet your whole family next time, Nika. Shad's case is a bit different. He left his great career to be with his wife, who came to New Zealand first as a researcher. Being on a work visa under partnership, he can work wherever he likes, but he wants to pursue teaching as he is passionate about it. He will be relieving in a school in Mangere next school year. Roden is a keen explorer who got his work holiday visa approved, came over in May, received his New Zealand teaching registration on his first day in New Zealand, and he looked for a teaching job. Now he is teaching English in high school. Let's not forget my old dear Pinoy teacher friends who try their best to find time to catch up with others. Ellen, who will be going back to teaching in her new school after a few months of rest. Michelle, who is the admin of the Facebook page and will be exploring a different career next year. And Lurley, who enjoys her new school in Hamilton. I will interview you probably online to tell us more about your your life as a teacher here. Have you been teaching here? Second year. Second year sa school na yan, Melville. First year sa school na yan. First, second year next year. Second year mara next year, and you enjoyed it. I have met different people every now and then, and there's one thing I've learned from it. Indeed, people just come and go, but their life stories leave behind a lot of beautiful lessons for me that are valuable to my growth, like perseverance, sacrifices, humility, friendship, integrity, and many others. Hope that this short video has given you some insights, especially if you're planning to move to New Zealand. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel, grow yourself in New Zealand, and feel free to share them. I will greatly appreciate it. It's free to press the button and the lessons from my channel can be valuable to your growth and success. So please don't hesitate to do it now if you haven't subscribed yet. If you are new to my channel, please check out my other videos, especially if you're considering coming to New Zealand to teach. More videos are coming up, so don't miss out. Kakite! Ah, yeah, perfect.